Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nays and Nays. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. As the title says above, this is going to be my April book haul, and I have quite a few books, more than I expected, honestly, but it's okay. I have a mix of review books as well as things that I purchased on my own. So we're going to dive right into this video because I don't want it to be too long. I'm recording this on Wednesday, May 8th, so hopefully you will see this on the 9th when I want it posted. You know, I need to get into the habit of having these videos done real time. Um, normally, I record like a bunch of videos in a day, but I want to see how it works with me doing these real time if possible. But so I'm going to start off with the things that I kind of purchased. So um, this first item I didn't purchase, it was sent to me through the Our Daily Bread Media Club. And I'm actually going to try to find the link to the Media Club. It's basically when they send you DVDs, either complete DVDs or like mini um, portions of a DVD that they send to you for free. It's kind of like how they do their Our Daily Bread devotionals and like their free books. But um, yeah, so this is In the Pursuit of John. This is parts one and two, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, part one and two. And when I signed up for this, um, I thought they were sending the complete DVD because I love... Um, just their series in general i have in the pursuit of peter and i think in the pursuit of paul i thought this was a complete john because i'm obsessed with john i love john the gospel of john is like my favorite book of the bible but it wasn't it was only parts one and two so i think this is a seven part series this is a seven part series so hopefully they do more of these uh in the next media club portion so that i can eventually get the whole collection but i have this the next item I got, I actually got as a sort of thank you because I did um, minister and dance for a tea party for an evangelist. And she gave me a basket, not a basket, but like a bag that has some Bath and Body Works stuff. And it also had this, which I thought was awesome because you guys know I'm not the best at praying. You guys know I like my little booklets that help me um, or prompt me to pray. So this one is called Classic Prayers for Every Need. Um, I'm not sure where she got it from, but this is from Barber. And I do like Barber Publishing Company in general. I like their little mini devotionals and stuff. So I was so excited to have this and they're just little devotionals um, on different things from different people and they include scriptures and whatnot. So I like it and it does go by like topic. I'm not sure if the topic is written. The to Yeah, there are topics. So there's like adversity, affliction, contentment, courage, depression, direction, discouragement, duties, expectancy, faith, um, guidance, the Holy Spirit for hope. Um, for rest, for renewal, for protection, for service, for sin, for temptation, for worry, for wisdom, for vision. So there's different prayers in here, which I think is great, and I like those type of books. So I have this. The next three books I actually picked up from my local library. They had their they had their spring library sale. Um, I went to their fall one last year, which was amazing. I picked up 88 books for like $50, just saying. But um, this time around, they didn't have a lot of items to pick from, but I did find three Christian books. So the first thing I got was The Case for Faith by Lee Strobel. Now, I did watch one of his movies. I'm not sure if it was called The Case for Faith or The Case for Christ, whichever one it was, because there is another book called The Case for Christ. I enjoyed the movie so much that I figured I would pick up the book. So I can't wait to dive into this and just see what it's all about, because the movie he, he had was like really amazing and I really loved it so I'm excited to dive into this next I found a CD Jake's book and this is the lady her lover and her lord I don't know anything about it but I know that my mom owns a hardcover copy of it so I figured I would get it it seemed really really good um you know and yeah anything about being a lady and being a lover of God or Christ and um keeping myself or not keeping myself but preparing myself for marriage I'm, I'm here for it so any books like that I'm here for so I have this the next book I have is from an author that I really have been dying to get my hands on this book for so long I put it in my Amazon cart took it out put it back but took you know I've been just back and forth about it and I own three of his Bible study series from three of his Bible study books from the victory series and the victory series is based off of this book so when I saw it I wanted it and I will say there are some notes in here from like other readers I think there was like more than one person reading this book um but it doesn't bother me that, you know, there's notes in here. Some of them, like the first portion has like written notes in pencil, some in pen. It doesn't bother me. I still got it. Um, but it's Victory Over the Darkness by Neil T. Anderson. I do own, like I said, three of his Bible studies. I know that Angela from Transform, Transform Through God's Word is doing one of those Bible studies now, um, which I love. I actually sent her that copy because I had a bunch of copies of his studies. And um, I wanted to dive into those, but I also wanted this book because those studies are based off of this kind of book. So I'm excited to have it. So here is the cover of it. And again, like I said, this one had notes in it from the previous owner 
So there are notes. Oh, sorry. Here we go. There are notes all throughout. And it doesn't bother me. I mean, it just lets me know that this person was, like, really passionate about this book. And um, I picked it up and then put it back because of the notes. But, you know, I figured, you know what, it doesn't matter. I can read through, make my own assumptions, and look, at, look to see what the other person was thinking. You know, there are questions that they even answered themselves. Yeah, like, there were multiple people using this book, which I think is awesome. So, I now have a copy of this book, and I'm excited to dive into it. The next few books I picked up from Dollar Tree, these are for my son. I saw that they had these. They were kind of like um, big book big book of stickers is what they call them. But they're based off of stories in the Bible. So I have the story of Noah, the story of Moses, the story of Joseph, David, Jonah, and Jesus. And they're literally just, you know, the stories um, from the Bible. But they include little stickers in here to go with the activities within the book. So, like, it'll tell you what page to use the stickers on. So, like, on the first page, there is a blank turtle here. You would take the turtle sticker and then stick the turtle sticker here. So, I thought that would be fun for my son. My son is, like, he loves stickers. Stickers is something that he loves. And he loves studying the Word of God. So, I figured this would be great for him to do. And these were only a dollar each. So, if you can find them at your local Dollar Tree, I definitely say would get, um, definitely tell you guys to get them. Like I said, there are only six of them. So, I do own all of them for him. And, um... Yeah, I can't wait to dive into this and include it in his, like, Bible studies with him. Moving on, I have two new Bible studies that I got from, um, what is it called? Hendrickson Bibles. Sorry, I couldn't remember for the second. But, um, you guys know I shared the Everyday Matters Bible studies before, and I got two more of them. So, this one is on service and mentoring, which I'm excited to get into. And then I also have the one on solitude and contemplation. So, there are a bunch of them. I am going to do an overall wrap-up when I own all of these studies. But I'm doing them two by two because that's how they send them to me. So I own these two and I'm excited to dive into these really soon. So I only got one Bible this month, which is actually really good. There were other Bibles that I really wanted, but you know, I'm a little... Got too many Bibles as it is. So um, this one is the ESV Prayer Bible and it's from Crossway. And um, it's a very, very compact Bible. I think it's really, really nice. This Bible is a single, single column style. And there's like smart space to do some journaling in. But what I like about this Bible is that in between the text, there are prayers. So let me just randomly go somewhere. I probably, I'll, I'll probably do a review on this Bible because I'm debating if I'm going to keep it for myself or not. But um, as you guys can see, in between chapter 2 right here there are prayers written by various people and they tell you where the prayer is coming from so i think that's awesome i'll have a full-blown walkthrough and review of this bible coming soon but um i think it's awesome there are also bible book introductions bible book introductions book introductions of um each book in the bible i haven't fully gone through this bible myself personally honestly but um you know it really just focuses on how to pray you guys know I'm here for all the things on how to pray. And again, there's no right or wrong way to pray. But I like having things that can guide me to make my prayers easier for make it for me, to make it easier for me to um, just pray. Because I find that when it comes to praying out loud, I freak out and I get nervous and I start having like an anxiety attack. So yeah. So I have this Bible and I really like it. It's really nice. Um, Again, I'm debating on if I'm keeping this or not. I may be giving this Bible away. I'm still um, thinking about it. Once I have my review and all of that up of this Bible, I will let you guys know what I'm going to do with it. Because I really don't think that I need this Bible. I have way too many Bibles. And I do want to be a blessing to other people. Um, I do have a 2,000 plus subscriber giveaway coming soon. I have everything like packed. There are, if you guys can see my room, I have about five or six boxes of things that are going to be done for giveaways. So yeah, I still, like my Mother's Day giveaway, I still have coming, even though it's going to be after Mother's Day, I apologize, but I have that coming. Um, I just have way too much stuff here, so yeah, this may be another giveaway to do. Moving on to Bethany House. So I only got two books from Bethany this month, um, last month. There were a lot of books that they sent, but I wasn't really interested, and I'm learning that I don't need to accept every request that they send me. I only want to accept the books that I really want to read, because I'm not going to lie, there are some books that they send me that I don't really enjoy, um, and I'm just, I'm learning now that I need, I don't have to accept everything. Though they may ask me, you know, to request the books, I don't have to request them, so... Yeah, I only got these two from them because I'm doing a um, blog tour with a company called Brism 
Prism Book Tours, I think is what it's called. I'll leave a link down below. They're doing a block tour for this series, and um, I love this series. I'm actually going to grab my actual copy of the book. But um, the series is the... Ravenwood Saga by Morgan L. Bussey and I read this book it's tabbed up it's amazing so I decided I wanted to partake in the blog tour and they asked if I wanted um, a copy of just book two or book one because the tour is for the sequel and I said why not get both books even though I read the first book already so they sent both Destiny sent me both for the blog tour and um yeah so I have an extra copy of Mark of the Raven which is a Christian fantasy I loved it I love it so much I have an actual review coming but I did mention it I think in my 2018 favorites. Um, you can click the eye on the screen to watch that video. But we have a copy to give away coming soon when I do that review video. And what I really wanted was this beautiful baby here. And it is the sequel, Flight of the Raven. And I'm not going to read the sequel because I haven't read it obviously yet. I did receive an e arc through NetGalley. But I just, I could not force myself to read it because I wanted a physical copy because I knew that I would love it because I loved the first one so much. All I know is that this follows Lady Celine. Yeah, Lady Celine um, and Grand Lord Damien because of what happens at the end of the first book. And now they're together. And I'm just excited to read this. And again, it's Christian fantasy. I would classify this as new adult, borderline adult. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to dive into this. So I do have a copy of the first book and the sequel, but the first book will be given away soon. Moving on, I have books from Waterbrook and Mount Noma. Following the kind of fiction side, I have The King's Mercy by Lori. Brenton, Lori Benton, sorry. I don't know much about this. I just know it's historical fiction. That's all I know. Um, I am excited to read this. I did get this um, because they were doing like this kind of, I think it's called Summer Fiction Review Thingy. I can't remember the name of it. But um, basically they sent the email to everyone that was a part of their like launch team, re review launch team program. And um, they had everybody sign up and did random raffles for whatever book. And I got selected, thankfully, for this book. And I'm trying to get more to more into historical fiction because I'm not a huge fan of historical fiction. So I got into it and they sent me this book. So I'm excited to dive into this. I'm not sure when I'm going to get into it just because there are so many other books I need to read. But yeah, I got it. The next two books are Christian nonfiction. And the first book I actually got from the author herself because she's having her own separate launch team outside of the Waterbrook Mount Noma launch team. So I'm excited that I even got accepted into it. I did get an e art, but I also got the physical copy. And it's Own Your Every Day by Jordan Lee Dooley. And for those who don't know, Jordan Lee Dooley is the owner and creator of Soul Scripts. And she is basically one of those kind of pioneers, I guess, in a sense, on. Um, Bible journaling but doing it in a study method and I actually have watched a few of her videos and do enjoy them so much um but yeah she sent me a copy of her book and I'm excited um this book comes out May 14th I haven't read it yet so that lets you guys know how far behind I am on reading a lot of these books because I've been so busy with my classes but yeah um there's a letter and a note and everything in here that I actually need to read I still have it packaged up the way it was so we need we need to get into this the next book I got is also, like I said, from Waterbrook and Mount Noma, and it's called Core 52, A 15-Minute Daily Guide to Build Your Bible IQ in a Year by Mark E. Moore. And, I, I mean, what else is there to say? It sounded amazing. It's something that I definitely wanted to get for myself. Um, I'm going to say it's like a 52-day devotional, and they just basically give you um, kind of weekly assignments. There's a question that they ask, and they give you kind of like the answer of why it happened. They give you points from the Bible. They give you key points, and then they also give you like this week, so things that you should do for that week for five days. So I'm pretty much looking at this as a devotional to help me um, further understand and know the Bible. So that's why I requested this, and I'm excited to have this and I can't wait to just dive into this more in depth. I'm probably going to do an actual like devotional Bible study time around this book itself. Moving on to Rebel, I got one book from them last month and you guys already saw the review on this book and the reading vlog but it's The Heart of a King by Jill Eileen Smith and I loved it so much. I enjoyed this. I gave it four stars um, just because I, I couldn't give it a full five but you guys can check out my review and my reading vlog to understand why but I love this book. I love the cover. It was great. <sighs> yeah. The next set of books are all from Baker Books, so we're going to dive in because I have so many here. So I have Loving My Actual Neighbor by Alexandra Koi Kendall. 
koi kindle i don't i don't know if that's how you say that name but um yeah it just says seven practices to tre treasure the people right in front of you which i think it's easy for us to kind of forget how to um care and show love to those who we see every day i know i find that to be the case for me um regarding like my son's father and my mother sometimes i forget um and it's not like i purposely forget but we, we become so consumed with life that because they're around us every single day we tend to forget to show um love and gratitude and stuff to them so i thought this would be a great book just to read and see what it's all about the next book i have is glorious weakness by alia joy discovering god in all we lack and i'm not sure if i hauled this already i feel like i did but i can't remember so if i did haul these next few books i'm just gonna show them anyway because i honestly can't remember i terrible at this but um what attracted to me this so this was the cover and the title name and it just says discovering God in all we lack and I mean we lack in every way possible we can do nothing without God um so I figured it would be a great book to read you, I'm gonna probably say that throughout the entire video because I think all these books are great to read the next book I have is upside down spirituality by Chad Bird and it's the nine essential failures of a faithful life and it's kind of funny just thinking of like failure with a faithful life and um Though we may be faithful, there are still failures within our lives, um, whether we know it or not. So I thought this would be a good one to check out. And the cover is like really nice with the upside down tree. Next, I have Confronting Old Testament Controversies, which is pr pressing questions about evolution, sexuality, history, and violence. And it's by Tremper Longman III. Yeah, this is one of those like theological kind of books. I'm just going to dive in. I was curious because of what it said and anything to do with like sexuality violence um in the bible in the old testament i kind of like to learn about that because i know the old testament some people say it's controversy to the new testament but um i'm just intrigued by the bible as a whole and um i think this would be something that would help me um i don't know further study further look into it if that makes sense so we have this the last book i have from baker books is one that i'm excited to have and it's sex purity and the longing Longings of a Girl's Heart, Discovering the Beauty and Freedom of God Defined Sexuality by Kristen Clark and Bethany Bale. Bale. Bethany Bale. Yes? Yes. Bethany Bale. I think that's how you say that. But um, they are the creators and founders of Girl Defined. So, yeah. If you guys don't know who they are, this is who they are. They're on YouTube. They have a blog. They have an entire ministry, which I have been following for a minute, and I do enjoy their books. I own Love Defined. I don't own a physical copy of Girl Defined, but I have it on ebook. Um, so, yeah, now I own all three of their books which I'm excited to dive into, though I haven't read any of them, unfortunately. I know, terrible. I just have way too many books. You guys saw my bookshelf, right? Right. We're, we're just gonna move on. The next set of books I got through Book Look Bloggers, which is the combination of Zondervan as well as Thomas Nelson. They have a book blogging thing, and I recently got approved for their gold membership. So with their regular membership, you can request one book at a time, but through gold membership, you can request multiple books at a time. So... I have these books and I'm excited. So the first one is 10 Minutes in the Word. Um, this one is on John. I do own their other two, which is on Psalms and Proverbs. And I just, I really enjoy these. They're devotional books. There are 46 chapters, so kind of like a 46-day devotional. And they do go through the entire books of whatever it is. So this is through all 21 chapters of John. And I just, I love the way they set it up. They give you a topic and key verse. They give you a set scripture reading, some information about that reading for the day. And then you get... All this space here you get your prayer and then like a question or two to ponder and I just I really like the way it's set up and it makes it easier for people to study whatever they're studying so I think this is awesome I'm definitely gonna start the one on Proverbs probably first um, but yeah I have the third one now which I'm excited to own the next one is also devotional I think I have a lot of devotionals here because yeah I love devotionals. You guys know this. Devotionals are like my favorite thing. Um, but yeah, this one is called Settle My Soul, 100 Quiet Moments to Meet with Jesus by Karen Emin and Ruth Sheckwink. I think that's how you say that. I'm um, not going to lie. What got me was the cover and the pink foil. But yeah, it's, 100, it's a 100-day devotional. And it's really pretty. Um, it's set up. It's, it's not dated, which I do like. Um, I like undated kind of devotionals because it allows me just to flow without having to focus on the dates. But um, you get your title um who wrote it and then they give you a key kind of scripture for that day your devotional and then they give you a prayer as well as a question to answer so pretty much this is the setup of it and um 
yeah so the devotional can go from anywhere from two to four pages but i will say some days they don't give you a lot of space to write like on this one for the 28th day you only get three lines to write so i definitely would say use this with a, another kind of journal um but yeah i'm like i said i'm not gonna lie what got me was the cover i'm sold i like florals i like pink and foil moving on we have made for this by jenny jen jenny jenny Allen, Jenny Allen. I get this lady's name mixed up all the time. But um, yeah, it's a 40 days to live in your purpose. And this is not a devotional, but it's a devotional. Um, it is a 40 day interactive journey, um, a step by step process to guide you in answering life's ultimate question. So I actually like this a lot. I'm going to consider it a devotional. So um, let's see. You have your days, so it's like I said, it's dated. You get all your information, your your kind of devotional focus for that, um, and then you get a respond and then a read and reflect. I'm here for it. You guys know how I feel about those interactive books. I like interactive books because it allows me to get more out of it. The last book I got from them is a journal, but it's a guided journal, and this is actually from Emily Lay. And I actually do love Emily Lay. I know she has her other books. Um, oh my gosh, I cannot even think of the name of the other books right now, which is really bad. I can't think straight, you guys. I'm just, I'm like really tired and I'm really trying to find it, but I, I can't. So what I will do is enter a photo right here of the other books that she has. But um, I do own them on ebook, not physical copies, but I think they're just the prettiest things ever. But yeah, this is called A Standard of Grace and it is a guided journal. And I think this is gorgeous because... It has like your week and then it kind of gives you like something to focus on. So you get like a scripture, a title, and then something like a mini devotional in a sense. And then you get a question, but there's like two pages a day or two pages within a week. So you're getting two questions a day. Um, and then there are just gorgeous photos throughout. So um, it's literally a journal, but it's guided. And because I believe it is... 52 weeks yes yeah, 52 weeks but within each week you're only going to journal probably twice a week so i think that's great um it doesn't kind of bog you down with having to journal every single day just twice a week and it's really simple to answer so i can't wait to dive into this i'm not sure if i want to start it now or if i want to wait till next year but um i'm excited to dive into this and i just i love her um cover designs they're really really pretty a lot of her cover designs have this kind of like rainbow kind of thing going on but i really just like the white with gold for you it's very clean with the pop of color love it and this one actually comes with three bookmarks which i think is awesome moving on we have b and h books so i have three books that i got for myself and then three books that i got for my son so the books that i got for myself are disciple her by candy Gal galaty galaty and it's using the word work and wonder of god to invest in women and i just i think it's good that i got this book at the time that i got it because i'm currently in like the process of elevation with ministry so I mean, that's all I can say. I think that it's great. So I'm excited to really just dive into this as soon as I can because it just sounds like something I need to read. The next book I got is actually one that was for men, but you know, men or not, I'm still going to read it. I um, mean, it's called Heroic, The Surprising Path to True Manhood by Bill Delvo. Delvox? Delvo. There's the name Del. I don't know if it's Delvo or Delvox, but um, yeah. I am excited to dive into this. I am not a man, but who cares? I have a son. I don't raise my son on my own. His father does help him out, help me raise him, obviously. Um, but yeah, I wanted to read it anyway. Next, we have this cute little book. It's called Friendship Promises. Two are better than one. Um, it's from Encourage, the ministry Encourage. Um, and yeah, it's pink and it's gold. And I just thought it was cute. I'm not gonna lie, that's why I got it. But then I saw the inside of it and I was like super, super excited. So here's like the kind of... Um, name plate page presentation page haha <laughs> and i think it's cute that you can actually cover color in but um it's pretty much just artwork and um you know verses and encouraging things written throughout this is kind of like one of those coffee table books oh uh, here's like a, a space for journaling but um it's a coffee table book and you know my family and i were definitely looking to get a house and um I could see me sitting this, you know, in my room as decorations or in the living room as decorations. Or my mother and I eventually want to have like a library kind of office um, study room built within a house. 
so I could see this in there and again I could color these pages in so you know this is great as a gift but I think it would be cute as like a coffee table book um I could you know color it in and just sit on the coffee table so we have this book like I said the next three books were for my son so this one I have is called what am I feeling by Dr. Josh and Christy Strobe and the illustrations are by Jamie Butler I actually did read this with my son he enjoyed it this basically just teaches your children about emotions that they can have there is a pullout chart in the back like it's okay I'm gonna try to open it for you guys <laughs> okay so <laughs> here's an emotional uh kind of chart it kind of reminds me of one of those like emotional charts that you find in doctor's offices which I can't stand but um yeah it's just a story about different emotions and my son enjoyed it I enjoyed it and it helped him to be able to tell me what he's feeling so I do read this to him at least once a week um so yeah the next one I feel like I hauled it but I don't remember so I'm gonna haul it again anyway so it's Easter is coming by Tama Fortner and it's illustrated by Waza Pink and I just love this cover because it has like mini holographics on it and the flowers you guys can see but um yeah it just talks about easter pretty much and we know easter is all about the resurrection of christ so and the last one i have from them is called god gave me grandma and i just thought this was like the cutest thing it just talks about you know grandmothers and kids and i just i think it's the cutest little book ever you know and when my son sees it he always talks about his grandmothers he loves all of his grandparents so i think that it was awesome that i got this book Okay, so the final book I have, I was so excited to have because you guys know that I actually enjoy this kind of series that this author has started. And I raved about how they were coming out with a girl's version and I finally have it. There is, a think, I think, a study with it that I'm going to be requesting soon. But it's Lies Girls Believe and I'm excited to own this now. It is by Donna Gresh, but um, it is a part of the Lies We Believe series by Nancy um, Demos Wogameth, and I'm excited to have this one. So you guys know that I have the Lies Women Believe, Lies Men Believe, Lies Young Girls Believe, which I've read and went through the study with my sister. Um, so now I have this one, and I believe there's another book that goes with this, like that's a mom version. And I don't have a daughter, um, as of yet, fingers crossed. I do want to have more kids once I'm married, and I definitely do want to have a daughter, obviously. That's like one of my biggest things is I want a baby girl so much. My son even talks about having a baby sister. But um, yeah, I finally have this. And even if I don't have a, a, you know, like a little girl, this still would be great for me to read because I want to minister to younger girls out there. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to own this. And yeah, there is a mom's guide, like I said that I'm going to request but it's just so cute it has illustrations inside and just little pictures of like other little girls and I am so excited to just read this and like I said I read um the lies young girls believe and that crushed me um in a good way to help me to get through some of the things that um happened in my past and I feel like this will do the same thing it'll make me go back to those younger years and um help me to bring those things to the forefront and really get over them and really allow God to do a work in me um and so I plan to read this one before I read the one on women because I just feel like reading the younger versions will help me so much more and be more beneficial when I then go to read the women's version I'm going to do a full video on this ent entire lies we believe series because I think it is amazing what um Nancy DeMoss Wilgameth is doing her husband did write the men's version her and um, Donna wrote the young girls version and I'm, so, no, I'm sorry not the young girls the young woman's version and then Donna wrote this one so I'm just I am excited to dive into this and I think it's like the cutest little thing and I just can't wait to have it on my shelf because they all have like the little apples so cute so um you know the men's one has um, an apple with two bite marks in it the woman's has one bite mark in it the young girls um or the young woman's has um i think granny smith apples and then this one just has candy apples they all have the bite mark and i just think it's so cute that they did this um you know and i just i cannot wait to dive into this and i just i'm obsessed with the little illustrations inside so we have this and now like i said i'm reading this next it's not that long of a book um i might just fly through it but oh so here are the other books so you guys can see so these are all the books together. This is the one that I'm showing you now. This is the young women's that I've read. The women's and the men's. And I am hopeful that they're going to come out with a young boys version. Just because they have a, you know, a, a girl's 
so it just it makes sense to have a little boy's version just saying but um yeah that's it for this haul quite a lot of books and um yeah i actually have a lot more books coming in the mail for may um so hopefully may isn't as long as this one because this one is like over 35 minutes i didn't mean to make it this long just saying but um hopefully when i edit this i can get it down to 20 minutes we're hopeful for 20 25 minutes after editing but yeah that is it for this video you guys if you want to see a review on anything specific just let me know i have decided to make saturdays my book review days so that i can still have more content because i know a lot of you guys are interested in bible journaling videos um so i have those coming back but um yeah i want to focus mainly doing that kind of content bible journaling prayer journaling um verse mapping and stuff like that so i'm going to leave saturdays open for book reviews now i might not have a book review every saturday though i should because i'm like behind on reviews but um for the next few Saturdays, probably starting next week, I will have um, book review videos posted on Saturdays. That way, Tuesdays and Thursdays can be just um, for regular content. And um, I forgot to mention, I'm wearing the Ash Gray Daughter of Inquiry shirt with the purple font. I did take a picture of my sister in her shirt, and hers is like a Heather Gray. So I'll be sharing that with you guys. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, subscribing, and all that great stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Mm -hmm.